uh, the next talk uh, is by uh, Kumiko Usuda Sato. I don't think I got your name correct. I'm sorry. Oh, no, and no, perfect. Topic... <laughs> okay. Uh, the topic is Galaxy Cruise, your galactic journey as a citizen scientist. Uh, so you have 20 minutes. Uh, okay. At, uh, at uh, uh, 12 minutes or so, I'll tell you how much time is remaining for your presentation. And we'll have the last five minutes for questions. So okay, over to thank you. you so much. I share the screen. Yes. Okay. Uh, do you see my presentation? Hello? Yes, sure. yes Oh, sure. okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, hi, good morning. Buenos dias, everybody. My name is Kumiko Sato from National Astronomical Observatory of Japan, NAOJ. I'd like to present NAOJ's very first citizen science project. And I would like to invite you to your galactic journey. As you may know, Citizen science is scientific work by citizens or general public, often in collaboration with professional scientists. So in citizen science, uh, there are benefits for both sides, for general public and researchers. And in galaxy crews, citizen astronomers, citizen scientists can access to the latest high quality data, big data of the solar telescope. So they are engaged. On the other hand, uh, Look, this picture, uh, he is uh, my collaborator. Uh, he is captain of the Galaxy Cruise, Dr. Masek Tanaka. He is a galaxy scientist. So the researchers can collect a bunch of classification data. So uh, in Galaxy Cruise, we use the big data taken with hyper Prime Cam, HSC, mounted on the Subaru Telescope. You may know NAOJ NA Subaru Telescope. It is the 8.2 meter optical infrared telescope built on Mauna Kea, Hawaii. This is a picture of the Subaru telescope. Over here, uh, we have the 8.2 meter primary mirror, and this is a top ring. And the center of the top ring over here, this is HSC. This is a really giant digital camera uh, with extremely wide field of view, uh, which covers about nine full moons. So uh, we Galaxy Cruise use the big data of the Svaro Telescope and we bring you to the latest high quality big data taken with HSC of the Svaro Telescope. I already share two URLs. The first one is Galaxy Cruise itself and another one is HSC map. This is a kind of a Google map, universe version or Svaro version. You can, explore, you can explore the vast cosmic images taken by the Svaro Telescope. I will show you the website. Can you see the screen of the HSC, HSC map? Okay, I'll continue. Uh, so, sorry, this is written in Japanese, but do not worry. Click the menu bar, HSC map, and change the language into English. Okay, you can read. And there are some uh, green area. Inside of the green area, the vast cosmic image of HSC data is hiding. Using your cursor, put your cursor inside of the green area and using your mouse or trackpad, you can zoom in. When you start zooming and going, going the data deeper and deeper, there are many, many dots. Some dots are stars like this inside of our Milky Way, but many, many faint dots are galaxies outside our Milky Way. When you go deeper and deeper and deeper, you see many more and more and more galaxies come out. And in the menu bar bookmark, we have some recommended object. For example, let's go to Ta-da! This is the tadpole galaxy. Actually, this is the spiral galaxy, but when another galaxy passed by, uh, this galaxy received the gravitation uh, interaction. So the one of the spiral arm was pulled out. We call this kind of galaxy 
interacting galaxy by gravity. And interaction is the main theme of Galaxy Cruise. I want to show you another galaxy. This galaxy looks like a jellyfish in the ocean. Actually, the jellyfish galaxy consists of two spiral galaxies, this one and this one. So two spiral galaxies are interacting each other with their mutual gravity. So this is, these are also interacting galaxies. I will go back to my slide. So inside, uh, inside of the vast cosmic images, of the spiral telescope, you see a bunch of galaxies and you see various shapes of galaxies. For example, number one, this is elliptical galaxies, uh, the round shape like rugby ball. And this is a spiral galaxy. You see spiral patterns. Number three, this is also a spiral galaxy, but a little bit different from number two. Number two, you see symmetrical uh, spiral pattern, but this one, is not uh, symmetrical. This is distorted by a, a gravitation of another galaxy. This is an interacting galaxy. And I already explained this, the Tatpole galaxy and Jellyfish galaxies are also interacting galaxies. The big question of galaxies are, how did such a variety of galaxies come to be? And how were galaxies formed? And how did galaxies evolve? I mean, how did the galaxy grow up? And uh, based on the theory uh, of, uh, with uh, computer simulation, uh, we think the galaxy uh, grew, uh, grew up by repeating interaction and merging events. So galaxy interaction and merging may be the key. So uh, our captain, Dr. Masek Tanaka, started classifying galaxies, but he gave up because there are so many galaxies. That's why we set up the Galaxy Cruise website and ask your help. But uh, when we ask uh, general public's help, we have a, uh, this is a little bit challenging because most of them don't know what is the shape of the galaxy, what is interaction. So we developed three steps of the training menu before they get on board Galaxy Cruise. I will explain more detail later. And we, may, uh, we gamify our activities. So when you register as a student astronomer and log in, you can see your own voyage log. So that each student astronomer started from the cabin class, the fourth cabin class. And as you classify more and more galaxy, you are graded up to third, second, first, and deluxe. And look at this map. This map is the survey map of Subaru HSC. But it looks like a nautical chart. So we modify the original survey map to the nautical chart to make our unique world view. So galaxy cruise. Uh, we, so we get on the boat, Galaxy Cruise, and sail, explore the cosmic ocean together. Okay, so I want to show some demo of Galaxy Cruise website. Okay, this is the top view, uh, home, home page of Galaxy Cruise. And if you like, please read news articles. We release a new article, not new topic on the first day of each month. And this is menu bar, please click training. So this is the three steps of training. So lesson one, two, three. Let's in, list, in, in lesson one, you will learn the shape of galaxies. For example, electrical galaxy uh, has a round featureless shape. On the other hand, spiral galaxy, uh, you see spiral patterns. And we also mention the uh, top view, I mean face on view and edge on view of spiral galaxies. And each lesson has five questions or quizzes. Look, question number one, look at this picture taken with a spiral telescope carefully. Is this galaxy elliptical or spiral? If you think it is elliptical, click here. Sorry, this is not elliptical. Captain makes a sad face. 
Look at this picture carefully. You see spiral patterns. It must be a spiral galaxy. Click number two. Yay! This is spiral galaxy. Captain, make, Captain makes a happy face uh, like this. And after you finish answering all five questions, please click go to lesson two. In lesson two, in lesson two you will learn what is an interacting galaxy. So this is semi symmetrical spiral patterns without interaction, but uh, interacting galaxies are partially put out by uh, gravi gravity of another galaxy or partially distorted. These are interacting galaxies. And you have another five questions. Question number one, look at this picture taken by solar telescope. Is this galaxy interacting or not interacting? Please click. Yes, it is interacting. Yes, you are right. You see many, many tail-like features. These are features of interaction. After you answer all five questions, please click lesson three. This is the final lesson and a little bit challenging, but do not worry, you can do it. So in lesson three, you will learn four main features of interacting galaxies. Number one, rings. Oh, I'm sorry, rings. You see concentric rings and fans, like a fan, fan-shaped structure. And number three, tidal streams. You see tail-like structures and distortion. And we have another five questions. This is an interacting galaxy. Which feature do you see? Ring, fan, tail, or distortion? The answer is ring. You can see a ring feature over here. So after you answer all five questions, please click here. I have completed all the training sessions. And yay, you got the boarding pass. Let's get on board. And click here. Let's go to the login screen. Actually, I already logged in. So this is the welcome page of the classification page. You, you see the same shape, the green, in the green area, uh, the wide, uh, wide, wide image, cosmic image is hiding. When you want to classify a galaxy, please click this wheel and a galaxy comes out at the center of the screen. Okay, look at carefully. So you will answer three questions per one galaxy, same as lesson one, lesson two, and lesson three. Look at this galaxy and you can enlarge. Is this galaxy spiral or elliptical? Maybe elliptical. Is this galaxy interacting or not interacting? Maybe interacting. Okay, what kind of feature do you see? Okay, look at carefully. It's around the galaxy itself. You see some fan feature. I think this is fan. And submit your result. And uh, ma'am, to... you have uh, ma'am, you have two more minutes to finish your presentation okay. and then we okay. can go for questions. Okay, thank you so much. And then go to the next. And look at, uh, please click this suitcase. This is your voice log. So now I'm at the first class and look at this nautical chart. So the uh, observing area consists of four small areas and five large areas. We call small area towns. When you complete one town, you can see this anchor mark. When you finish one large area, we call continent. Uh, this continent is colored in brown. And you have a passport. So when you finish one town or continent, uh, departure passport stamp uh, can be got, gotten. So this is the galaxy cruise, uh, the procedure, how you classify many, many galaxies. And I want to share, uh, I have two more minutes, uh, I want to share uh, the updates. So the Japanese site was open on November 1st last year. And within two weeks, uh, there are many, many uh, web news. And in two weeks, the registered, uh, registered people is more than uh, 1,000. And as you know, uh, uh, it, it, due to COVID-19 pandemic, on 
March 2nd, all schools, Japanese schools were closed. So uh, many, many young people registered. Actually, uh, younger than 20, 20 years, uh, younger, young people registered. And now the number is still growing. In English, the English site opened on February 19th. And thanks to a Russian YouTuber or Washington Post newspaper in the United States, many Russian and American people signed up. Okay, and we have some uh, pilot uh, science results. Uh, based on the past observational data, we know brighter galaxies tend to have more elliptical galaxies. Look at this graph. So the left smaller number is brighter galaxy. And this is the proportion of elliptical galaxy. One means 100% elliptical. So we can see this tendency. Brighter galaxy ha have more elliptical galaxies. And this galaxy is ring galaxy. Many still as astronomers classified as ring galaxy. And Captain, Tena Captain Tanaka checked this galaxy. This is really a ring galaxy. So we have received more than 691,000 classific classification results. So we have to start analyze, uh, analyzing. Okay, so please register as a citizen astronomer and let's set, let's set sail for the cosmic ocean with us. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Do we have any questions from the audience? I think everyone is just spellbound by that, the Galaxy Cruise, which you just shared. Any comments, anything to know, anything that someone would uh, like to ask? We have three more minutes. So uh, I have a question uh, from Honda. Yes. So the, in the, uh, the uh, nautical chart, you make a depth of sea. So is that, that uh, based on some uh, astronomical uh, value, say visual extinction or something? Oh, you are the expert of Milky Way. Thank you so much. Yes, <laughs> actually this one is a galactic plane. So mm -hmm. this uh, over here, this is Milky Way, our own galaxy. And if you are interested in about our nautical chart, we have an article, so please, uh, this is our website, please click news. And my colleague Naito-san uh, created this wonderful, beautiful nautical chart, a cruising map. So this is uh, in the news article, uh, Naito-san already wrote, what is this, uh, how to read this nautical chart. Please mm -hmm. click, uh, I'm sorry, if it's, uh, it's on uh, March 15th. He explained about this one. So this is uh, the galactic plane, our Milky Way. This is so. This is a li little bit uh, the opposite sense. The deeper looking area is a brighter area of our Milky Way galactic plane. Thank you so much, Handa-san. Okay, thank you. Thank, thank you. you very much. Uh, any other questions? We are almost uh, at the end of the session. Uh, if there are no questions, uh, uh, then uh, I, I have another. <laughs> yes. Uh, so, the, how to estimate the misclassification by citizens' results? Mm -hmm. This is a very good question, and we have to evaluate from now. Currently, <laughs> I cannot answer uh, precisely, but um, it is very difficult to evaluate the accuracy of classification. But uh, uh, we receive more than 50 classification per one galaxy. So we can analyze statistically. And uh, mm -hmm. so this is a preliminary result and uh, to, to check the accuracy of classification. Mm -hmm. And uh, currently we think uh, the classification by citizen astronomers is pretty good. 
because we mm -hmm. can see this uh, very clear tendency and uh, Captain Tanaka checked many interacting galaxies and uh, they are indeed uh, rarely interacting galaxies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, thank you very much, ma'am, for thank your you presentation. So much.